Hi, doctors and providers. I am Carrie Dominic. I am a pelvic floor physical therapist here in Long Beach. And I'm here to talk to you about pelvic floor therapy and how it can help your clients. Um, most of my patients come to me directly. They're Googling their symptoms and they're all frustrated. Like, why didn't my doctor tell me about this? So I'm here to educate you on what pelvic floor therapy is and how it can help your patients. Number one population for me is postpartum moms um, and they just feel lost in our medical system. And so pelvic floor therapy can really bridge that gap after, you know, they've been cleared medically from birth, um, but they just feel lost. Like I have one visit and my body is so different. Um, so pelvic floor therapy can help with abdominal healing, with pelvic pain, especially if they had stitches or an assisted birth. Um, C-section recovery definitely should be seeing a physical therapist. Um, it can help if they have painful sex, if they're having bladder leakage still. So again, they're frustrated when they're just told like, it's normal, you had a baby. Um, maybe it'll go away, like check back in a year. Uh, my patients are really frustrated. So send them to pelvic floor therapy. It can help. It has, we have answers, we have solutions, we have exercises to give them to strengthen them. Kegels aren't always the answer. They're, they're honestly less often the answer than, than we think. Um, so we can do a full assessment, spend time with them and figure out where their weakness is, where their tightness is and, and help them. And along that same line, during pregnancy, moms can also come to pelvic floor therapy. So again, back pain, hip pain, pelvic pain, they don't have to live with throughout their pregnancy. If they're having bladder leakage already during pregnancy, like it's better if we address it early. Um, and then also I help people with birth prep, the, the moms that wanna have a, a natural birth, no intervention. <laughs> um, often they, they need to learn how to push, they need to learn how to use their pelvic floor muscles or how their pelvic floor muscles can stay out of the way um, and decrease their chance of intervention. Although birth is birth, we know sometimes intervention is necessary. Um, and then on the male side, I see a lot of men who have pelvic pain and they've been diagnosed with chronic prostatitis, but nothing is showing up on their labs showing that they have an infection. And then this can also be in females too. It can be diagnosed as a UTI, but nothing showing up on the labs as an infection. Often this is tight pelvic floor muscles. So pelvic floor therapy can help with this and tight pelvic floor muscles mimic the symptoms of prostatitis, UTI, of infections, but there's no infection. Um, and then I see some males for erectile dysfunction, like we know that's primarily a vascular issue, but for some of them, especially the young ones, there's often a tight pelvic floor component. Yeah, a lot of sort of your outlier patients, basically that's who I wanna help. Um, if you've done all your medical workup and like, don't know what to do with these people, send them to pelvic floor therapy. Often there's a musculoskeletal component that we can work on that mimics medical symptoms, um, but it's really just muscles. So that's pelvic floor therapy in a nutshell, some highlights of some patients that we can help. Um, again, my name is Carrie Dominic. I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist. My practice is called Recharge Therapy. And I always set aside time in my schedule. Patients can uh, schedule a 15 minute phone consult with me to for free to figure out if potentially I can help them if it's worth their time to come in. Um, so just know that. And then for you as providers, like reach out to me. I'm happy to chat with you and and sort of figure out if, if I can help your complex patients.